is, is uh, the most public of buildings, period. City Hall is the people's building and the city manager wants to make sure the people have access. But at the same time, we have an obligation to make certain that the people who work in this building, the people who visit this building, are in the safest environment possible uh, from a security standpoint. When you visit City Hall, be prepared to empty your pockets. Effective today, visitors have to go through metal detectors, but the security changes are not as strict as originally proposed. Uh, based on feedback that I've received from council members, we've scaled back some of our original plan. While you will have to go through the metal detectors and sign in, you won't have to show an ID. You also will not have to wear a visitor badge and be escorted to your destination. On those issues, the scales tip towards openness. It's a balancing act. You know, you want to uh, establish the safest environment possible, but at the same time, you don't want to restrict access. Another security change at City Hall doesn't involve the building so much as the parking out front on Plum Street effective today. There's no parking for any vehicle other than city owned vehicles. Just one more security change here at City Hall from downtown. Andrew Setters, WLWT News 5.